tell you, Sarge, I released my medical records today. I appreciate you. <laughs> so today I released my medical records, as has, I believe, every candidate for president of the United States, except Donald Trump in this election cycle. And it's just a further example of his lack of transparency, that on top of his um, unwillingness to debate again, his unwillingness to uh, do an interview with 60 Minutes, which again is part of the norm of what anyone running for president of the United States does. And I think that it's obvious that his team, at least, does not want the American people to see everything about who he is. We got our sourdough and our lovely wine. Marble rye. Uh, anything else? Do you want like any meat options or? <laughs> no. Want a drink? Yeah. And right now, the difference between Kamala Harris and Joe Biden is not what they need to be concerned with. They need to be concerned with a Donald Trump who has said he would be dictator on day one. How will a Harris Walls administration reduce overall government spending? No, and I, I know Vice President shares my concerns. Look, as a governor, I balance budgets. We're required to. There's no choice about it. When I was in Congress, this is a concern of mine. That's the difference between Donald Trump. His explodes the debt. He had called himself the king of debt. He created more national debt than anyone. And I think that's where Vice President Harris on each one of these has a pay for. How specifically do you turn the page? That's the case you're making about turning the page on an administration uh, that A, Vice President Harris is a part of, and that B, as recently as this week, she has been reluctant to criticize or say she would change anything about. Yeah, well, I think keeping in mind the big difference here and the choice is going to be the difference between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump.